So today's video is a little bit of an opinion piece. It was our third class of comparative diets and we talked a lot about the way things are different than they used to be. Our mindset, our lifestyle, our ways of eating, and particularly our methods of food preservation. So one example is a jar of pickles. Back in the day, in order to pickle, we would have used sea salt. Now, not mined table salt with lots of anti-caking agents and other fun things, but good quality sea salt, which in small quantities is actually something that's very good for us and something that our body needs. It also has an alkalizing effect. However, if you go to the grocery store these days and, and get a jar of pickles, you'll see that it's made with vinegar. Vinegar is a lot easier, a lot quicker, a lot more convenient. However, vinegar has an acidifying effect. And when our bodies are too acidic, then in order to find balance, vitamins and minerals will get leached out of the bones for our body to use, which is gonna create a whole host of problems down the road. So as our convenience level has gone up, our health has kind of gone down. And we see this a lot in the way that we're, we're moving. Go, 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 running around, super busy, lots of things to do. And when we get tired, what do we go for? Some coffee or an energy drink. I mean, we're seeing like really young kids downing these huge energy drinks that are full of caffeine and full of sugar, which is the culprit, the worst culprit there is. And it's making us really, really unhealthy. So what can we do? Well, when we go to the grocery store, if we if we do have to buy something that's prepackaged, pre-made, you know, pop it in the oven kind of thing, super easy, just pay attention to the label and not the front of the box. Because the marketing these days is just fantastic. But what we want to look for is what's on the back of the box what what's in the ingredient list what's um what's on the nutrition what's the nutrition content is there sugar in it is there added sugar in it are there artificial sugars in it is it made with corn wheat or soy does it say gmo or it won't say gmo that's for sure does it say non-gmo or is it organic um, be careful about when it says like blue label or whole grain check um, because what do these actually mean? There could still be a good amount of sugar and it can still have genetically modified ingredients. Uh, low fat, which really means nothing. We need fat. Fat's really important for the proper function of our brain and the proper function of our body. I don't mean the fat that you would get on a cheeseburger from McDonald's, fat from like olive oil and coconut oil and sesame seed or sesame oil, unsalted nuts, avocados. These are really good fats. Oh my gosh, apparently they're coming out with a genetically modified avocado that's low fat. What's the point of that? Fat from an avocado is really good and it is so bioavailable for our body. It completely defeats the purpose of eating an avocado. Our body is still going to crave fat. If our body needs fat in order to, to um, create the processes that, that it needs, that it needs the fat for, then we're still going to have that craving for fat. Our body is still going to tell us, eat more fat. So if we're eating things that don't even have the fat in them, then... <laughs> um, so look at the labels, look at the sugar content. Sugar really is like our number one, the number one kicker here. Um, yeah, and just really pay attention and be careful about the marketing ploys. Okay, thanks for watching my opinion piece. <laughs> Bye guys.